Hi guys, my name is Yi Zhang and I'm one of the TAs in this class. Today I'm going to talk about two articles. In the other video, I shared my thoughts on a paper called a Collective Intelligence Ratio. So today, let's do the other one, Action Research Approach on Mobile Learning Design for the Underserved. The author is Dr. Paul Kim, and the journal in which the article was published is called Education Technology Research Development. In this paper, Dr. Kim focused on using the four steps of an action research approach strategizing, applying, evaluating, and reflecting in order to prove that a mobile learning model can positively impact the literacy development of the indigenous children who lived in a very isolated and poor area in Latin America. Not only were multiple groups such as corporate and government representatives and NGOs as well as university partners actively involved in the project, but they also conducted a series of meetings, observations, interviews, and videotaping. So mobile learning devices were preloaded with well-narrated alphabetic tutorials and short stories to teach the children. So two most important things I learned from the paper are that first, academic research on social entrepreneurship is still in its infancy. This made me feel that if we were not able to develop a hybrid model soon, the equipment or financial support to those children may not be sufficient at all to support their literacy development. And second, although the children lived in isolated areas with little access to technology, they were still able to handle all the training and they were able to manipulate all the devices. It shows to me that well-designed mobile devices and user interface can really be intuitive even to novice users. This paper is definitely relevant to the design of online learning environment, especially for potential learning environments in the isolated and underserved areas. We all know that nowadays there is a growing number of online and mobile programs. Actually, if you Google the phrase online learning class, you may find that there are more than 165 million results for you to choose. In the meantime, we cannot forget that there are more people in the world who live under poor conditions with no internet access or with no great education opportunities. So when we keep talking about how to build better learning environments for the modern society today, we will still have to look for innovative digital learning approaches for those very marginalized communities because everyone has a right to education. So this is it. I hope you enjoyed this paper as well, and I'll see you in the other video. Thank you.